Monday. I'm Carol Baldwin and welcome to another week of Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. Yes, we are back with the daily quiz, which is packed with riddles, puzzles and brain teasers, which will educate, entertain and irritate the hell out of you. And the best thing is, it only takes 10 minutes a day. Now, I hope you had a fantastic weekend, really do, and you're ready to start whipping that brain of yours into shape this fine Monday morning. We are here throughout the week, Monday to Friday. So make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. And don't forget to follow us on our socials for even more Perfect 10 content, including exclusive questions you won't find anywhere else. Just search for at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Insta and TikTok. Before we start, don't forget, and lots of people are doing this now, to download your Perfect 10 scorecard from our website. And our website is perfect10.uk. And then you can fill that out as you go, leave it lying around the house to brag to other people just how smart you've been this week. And while you're there, sign up to the Perfect 10 newsletter to get all the latest news on the show and access to exclusive competitions. Right, enough chit-chat, Vorderman. Let's start today's show, shall we? Here is your Monday's Perfect 10. Question one, as always, is your starter for a Perfect 10. Here we go. Which of these is the odd one out? An earwig, a tarantula, a grasshopper, or a dragonfly? One of those creepy crawlies doesn't belong, but which one is the odd one out? And why? Question two, as ever, it's our hearsay round. You're about to hear a sound clip which relates to a well-known phrase or saying. So, which phrase is hidden in these sounds? you hear say what you hear and what is the well-known phrase or saying associated with that question three carol lateral thinking so consider this question very carefully which superhero's name is r n m n with all the vowels removed and here's a clue three vowels have been removed so which superhero is hidden there Question four, our memory game. So listen carefully to the clip and answer the question, which I'll give you after. Hi, sorry, can you point me in the direction of Manor Road? Manor Road, oh yeah, of course. Uh, So keep heading down Dukes Road, take a left at the petrol station onto Queen Street. Keep walking down Queen Street past the Vets, then take your next right onto Bridge Market. Uh, Then from there, you'll need to walk maybe 30 metres. It's all uphill, but not far. The Manor Road is at the top of the hill, just on the corner of the Garden Cafe and the Play Park. I hope you were listening to all of those directions because here comes the question. On which street will you find the vets? The answer you need was all contained in the clip, but can you remember the information you need to answer the question? Questions five, six, and seven are all part of a group we call the three Fs. They are frivolous, familiar, and fun. They're about uh, common knowledge. They're about popular culture, everyday items, and the world around us. So eyes peeled, ears pinned back, question five, and it's all about our nation's favourite Double act, they're devils too. Ant and Deck first worked together on which TV show? Which TV show was it all those years ago? Here's question six and another double act of sorts. Alexander and Sergei are the mascots of which website? Who are these fuzzy little mascots and what brand do they represent? Remember, you can pause if you need some thinking time, but no Googling, no internet searching at all. Now, how are you feeling today? Confident or a little bit wobbly? 
Hopefully this question will guarantee you another point today. Coleman's mustard comes from which English city? One in, one out now. Round eight, where we change a letter in the word to create a new word. Which letter can you change in the word lens, L-E-N-D-S, to get the name of a city in Yorkshire? Question nine is called, I know I know this, as with a little bit of logic, deduction, another point could be yours. What colour is the live wire in a standard British plug? Well, it's something you probably should know. There's a point in it if you do. But if you don't know, then you will by the end of the show. And look at that. We're almost at the finish line. Question 10. Let's finish Monday's proceedings, as we always do, with our daily riddle. And today we have a surprise guest with a riddle of her own. Here is the incredible Joanna Lumley with the final question of the day. What do you see once in June and twice in November, but never in March, April or May? Wow, I bet you weren't expecting that today. Thank you so much, Joanna Lumley, the goddess. We'll come back to you for the answer at the end of the show. There you have it. That's all the hard work done for Monday's episode. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you can. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to follow so you don't miss tomorrow's show as soon as it drops. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, please send me what you've got to at Perfect Ten Carol on Facebook, Insta and TikTok. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. I gave you 10 toughies today, though, especially for a Monday. But did you get a perfect 10 score? Well, here is where you find out. Question one. Which of these is the odd one out? An earwig, a tarantula, a grasshopper or a dragonfly? And the answer is a tarantula. A tarantula is an arachnid, whereas all the others are considered different varieties of insects. Question two. Hearsay. Which phrase was hidden in these sounds? is the birds and the bees. And well done if you got that right. Question three was my Carol Lateral thinking question. Which superhero's name is R-N-M-N with all the vowels removed? Three vowels were removed. And the answer is Iron Man, also known as Tony Stark. Question four was our memory question where we found ourselves lost in the city. But the question I asked was, on which street will you find the vets? And the answer was in the clip. It was Queen Street. Well done. If you managed to remember that, you just scored yourself a point. Question five, we're into the three Fs. Ant and Deck first worked together on which TV show? The answer is Biker Grove, a CBBC show set in Newcastle that ran from 1989 to 2006. And that was back in the days when those two were known as PJ and Duncan. Question six, Alexander and Sergei are the mascots of which website? Those fuzzy little critters are the meerkat mascots of Compare the Market, or as they prefer to say it, comparethemeerkat.com. Simples. Question seven, Coleman's mustard comes from which English city? The answer is Norwich. Coleman's was founded in 1814 by Jeremiah Coleman in a small village just outside of Norwich. Question eight, and it's one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word lens to get the name of a city in Yorkshire? Well, if you change the letter N for another letter E, you get the fabulous and one of my favourites, Leeds. Question nine was, I know I know this. Let's see if you did. What colour is the live wire in a standard British plug? And the answer is brown. Okay, you can carry on now, but make sure you do not cut the brown wire. And finally, it's back over to the brilliant, the goddess, Joanna Lumley, for the answer to today's riddle. What do you see once in June and twice in November, but never in March, April or May? 
And the answer is the letter E. Thank you so much, Joanna. And please let us know if you have a perfect 10 score today as well, will you? And if you want to hear more of Joanna, why wouldn't you give her excellent podcast, Joanna and the Maestro, a listen. It is a fantastic show about classical music with her wonderful husband and conductor, Stephen Barlow. And I genuinely, I think you'll absolutely love it. What is not to love? It's Joanna Lumley after all. And it's available on all the usual podcast platforms. So once you're finished here, head over there and perhaps give it a good listen. So have you scored a perfect 10 today? Don't worry if you didn't, there's always tomorrow. But please remember to make sure you subscribe to the podcast and follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our daily rounds or any of our social media exclusive content and competitions. Come and join the Perfect 10 family on Facebook, Insta and TikTok and get involved with all of our bonus questions. And if you want to be the first to hear about all the latest from Perfect 10 HQ, and get access to the competitions, behind the scenes footage and the bonus questions, all you have to do is head over to our website, perfect10.uk and sign up for our newsletter. Now, I will be back tomorrow, but before I go, as always, I'll leave you with an anagram, but no points for this, just something to keep your mind ticking over until tomorrow. Here we go. Which former bond is an anagram of reborn in space. R-E-B-O-R-N, reborn, I-N-N, in, S-P-A-C-E, space. Join us tomorrow to find out. I'll have the answer to that. Plus another 10 perfect questions to stretch that mind muscle of yours and to make you groan. So make sure you subscribe to get the next episode in your feed as soon as it drops. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was Monday's Perfect 10. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a perfect day.